just finished row 24. Moving on to row 25. I'm going to show you 25 and 26. There's something special about 26, <laughs> which is easy. Okay, so um, buttonhole. I'm just checking. You always have to check and see where your buttonholes are. There's one. There's the next. I'm not ready for the third one yet. It's too soon, so I'm okay for buttonholes. Always think about the buttonholes. And so I start with the seed stitch on row 25. So knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Move the marker. That's two together yarn over that you're going to repeat over and over. So two together yarn over, two together yarn over, two together, yarn over, two together, oopsie, <laughs> two together, yarn over, move the marker and repeat and I will pick this up when I'm starting row 26. Row 26, it's really easy, it's, this is the wrong side so it's all pearl. But here's the fun part. <laughs> you are done the difficult lace pattern. Woohoo! Good for you. Now it gets easier, believe it or not. If you've survived this far, you're going to do just fine in knitting this um, little baby cardigan. Okay, so what we do is just to really be finished with the lace pattern is take out the stitch markers, except I want you to keep the ones in right on the edge. So. Let's do the seed stitch, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. This little stitch marker we will keep because it truly defines the edges, um, but the others we'll get rid of. So now it's just all purling. So we will one, there should be eight in between, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, and get rid of it. You are free. <laughs> and do that right until the end, but keep your last stitch marker on there as well. I just find it helps me remember to do the seed stitch on the edges, but get rid of all the other ones. Congratulations on finishing the lace. <laughs> 